this video, I'm going to show you how to find the surface area of a cone. Uh, for this example, we're going to have a height of 12, a radius of 5, and we don't know the slant height. In a previous video, I show how the formula is derived for surface area of a cone, and what we know is that the, the slant height is a pretty important piece to know in doing that. Uh, the two pieces that make up the cone are the circular base, which is pi r squared for its area, and then the lateral area, which is found by doing pi times the radius times the slant height. Now, the height and radius of a cone are perpendicular. So inside that cone, there is this right triangle with h, r, and l as the hypotenuse. We know that the height is 12, the radius is 5, and since it's a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem, or this is actually the Pythagorean triple, uh, to do find the slant height. Alright, so our slant height is 13. Now we can find the area of our base. And then our lateral area. times the radius, 5, times the slant height, which we found was 13. And then we would have our total surface area is the sum of the area of the base plus the lateral area. here, so we'll just write it as units squared. So to find the total surface area of a cone, we need to add the area of the base plus the lateral area. Sometimes we are given the slant height, and we need the slant height in finding the lateral area. Since the height and radius of a cone meet at a right angle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the slant height, and once we have that, we can find the lateral area, add the lateral area to the area of the base, and we have our total surface area.